In this video, we're going to look at Cisco DNA Center templates. The example use case I'll be reviewing is how to automate the deployment of 802.1x in a brownfield environment. Note that these concepts can be used to automate any task in your environment. For the agenda, I'll do an overview of the template editor. I will then explain what a network profile is, and then we'll provision a brownfield device using our 802.1x template. In the template editor, there are two types of templates we can create, onboarding templates or provisioning templates. We use onboarding templates for the initial configuration of a device. This template is used in our plug and play process. The template we'll be looking at in this video is a provisioning template. The main goal of this template is to automate a configuration task in a brownfield environment. We have the option to select between Velocity or Jinja templating languages. This gives us the ability to add common scripting commands. Within our template, I will review for loops, if statements, and macros inside of this template. We can also do source binding. This gives us the ability to bind Cisco DNA Center's knowledge of a device into a variable in our template. To access the template editor, you click the hamburger icon, tools, template editor. I have already created a project called 802.1x. Inside this project, I have a velocity template called 802.1x deployment. In this template, I'm using the IBNS 2.0 framework to deploy 802.1x to my switches. As you can see, I have my standard AAA configuration along with the different class maps and policy maps defining my .1x parameters. The next step is to configure all of the access ports with the .1x configuration. To do this, I created a for loop to iterate through all of my interfaces. I've defined a variable called interfaces, which is doing source binding to get the switches information. I am then using a variable called interface to iterate through my loop. The next step is to have a logical decision using an if statement. I'm checking if the port type is physical and if the port mode is access. If the port meets the requirements, I then go into that port and apply a macro called .1x. This macro applies the interface configuration. Since I'm source binding, I have the ability to insert the same VLAN that was provisioned on that port back into this template. The next step is to define the variable attributes. I click the attributes editor. As you can see, I have two variables. The first one is called interfaces. In order to bind this information to the variable, I scroll down to content, then check bind to source. I am binding the source of inventory, then the entity of interface. We are using different attributes inside of the template to make decisions if the port is physical or if the port is access. The other variable interface is used to iterate through my loop. I have defined this not to be a variable for user input. The last step is to simulate this template. I'll click the simulation button, create a new simulation. I now have the option to bind my variables to a device. I'll select my lab device to do this binding. I'll then say the simulation name is called test. Since we're doing source binding, you now see the interfaces that are pulling up from my lab device. I'll select these three interfaces to do this test. Once I click run, you'll see a successful finish. You now can see my template was applied in the simulation. You can see my AAA commands along with the class maps and policy maps. If we go down to interfaces, you're able to see that interface 10 and interfaces one were configured with my templates. You will also notice that port number 10 and port number one have different VLANs. This was due to the source binding for those VLANs that were on those interfaces. You'll also notice that port 11 was not configured because this was a trunk port. In order to provision a device with this template, we need to create a network profile. A network profile binds the template to the site hierarchy so we can provision the devices in that location. To create a network profile, you click the hamburger icon, design, network profiles. You can see I've created a profile called 802.1x deployment. If I edit this profile, you can see that I specified this is for all switches and hubs to use the template of 802.1x deployment that we created. I can now specify what site I want to deploy this template to. So now I click sites and you can see that I'm deploying this only to my non-SDA site on floor number two. 
The last step is to provision a device with this template. In order to provision a device, you click the hamburger icon, provision, then inventory. We're going to select floor two in the non-SDA site, since this is where the network profile binds the .1x template to this site. The next step is to provision a device with this template. I'm going to select our lab switch, click actions, provision, provision device. This device has already been assigned to a site, so I'm going to click next. I then selected the template. I'll choose all of the interfaces and click next. I now have the option to deploy this template to my device. I'll click deploy. I have the option to deploy now, schedule it for later, or generate a configuration preview. I'll select apply now. Cisco DNA Center is now deploying the .1x template to my lab device and configuring all the interfaces based on the logic if the port is physical and access and putting the same VLAN with the .1x configuration on that interface. This is a very powerful way to automate tasks in your environment. Thank you for watching this video.